Um, on to the Mayor's novices now. And a very hot favourite here, Epitanti, who I'm not sure if Nicky Henderson forgot about Altio when he said uh, on, over the weekend that this was his best chance of the festival. Uh, Honeysuckle, 7-2. to two. Uh, Posh Trish, 15-2. to two. Uh, Senora, 12-1. Uh, to 16-1 to one bar. Um, this Epitante looks like a very, very exciting horse. Obviously, we saw in Lorena last year, the winner of this race who's gone on, um, and we'll see how good exactly she is. But uh, at 5-2, to two, given that Lorena went off at kind of 4-6 to six against possibly a weaker field, Tony, do you think there's any juice left in that 5-2? to two? Um, I think uh, she'll be hard to beat. I clearly think the absolute world of her, um, obviously very keen, and that could well be a factor, but it doesn't look a particularly strong race. You've got Honeysuckle in there, the second fav. It's not a race I've got into in a great deal of depth. Um, it's one that I'll link to the overnight stage, to be perfectly honest with you. But if, you, if you're looking for stable confidence, then I think they've got it with Epiton, that's for sure. Um, it's been a much maligned addition to... Cheltenham Festival and I know Willie has won all three and we've won two of the three editions but I think this is a belter of a race this year I think it's really really good um, I, all the main horses at the top of the betting apart from Epitante shape as though further than two miles is going to be their best trip but that being said Limini Let's Dance and arguably Lorena you might say are all going to be best or we're all best or are all best over two and a half miles anyway um, I think there's going to be loads of pace I think Paul Weber's mayor um, who I don't think she'll be good enough but I think she's very good uh, in her own right um, her name escapes me and I can't pronounce it anyway <laughs> in, that's the one yeah that'll Indefa she, indefatigable yes, that'll, that, yeah, that'll yeah. make sure it's a good test one. Stuart Edmonds the horse is there as well Queen of Hearts I think there's going to be a honeysuckle and scenario there one of them is likely to run I think there's likely to be loads of pace I think it's quite interesting, just one of the little angles on this is, as a result of, um, some, of the, some of the mares being entered in the handicaps, um, Posh Trish is 145 with the UK handicapper, Epitante is 143, Honeysuckle is 138 in Ireland, she's been given 142, Sonoria is 135 in Ireland, she's been given 142, uh, Salsaretta is 137 in Ireland, and she's been given 141. Um, now, all of them, Posh Trish, Honeysuckle and Sonori are all down to carry 11.7. Epitant and Salsaretta both get £5. Um, I think Salsaretta is 16s in some places or something like that. 20 to 1 with Hills. Yeah. That's without um, the insurance. Uh, she's, I'd say we're more than likely to line up here. We're getting £5 from a couple of horses. We'll definitely stay. We'll appreciate a good test um, if it is. I just think she's a knock in each way, but I'd be really, I'd, I'd be pretty gutted if she was knocked out of the out of the places should she line up. Interesting, strong words there from someone who'll know about Sorcerata at twenty to one with William Hill. Uh, Joe Chambers, uh, Mrs. Susanna Ritchie's racing manager, talking about a Susanna Ritchie horse there. Um, Andy, mm. coming to you now. Yeah, for once, I'm not got a particularly strong view on this. Um, I can't really add anything to what the lads have already said. Obviously, Epitanti's looked really good on its two runs. Hasn't done a time figure yet, though, so I wouldn't really want to be backing it at five to two. The best Irish horse on the numbers is Honeysuckle. Clocked a good She's time. good. Yeah, clocked yeah. a very good time last time out. Very strong in all departments. Jumped well, went a good gallop. They were absolute punch drunk in behind them. She just kept galloping. She's the best one I've got on the clock anyway in Ireland. Um, but yeah, not a race I've had a bet in. And I'm acting, it's probably one of the ones I might even sit out in the day, believe it or not. Oh, I don't believe I that know, for yeah. a second, Andy. I, I, I should add, Salsaretta ticks a new box that I wasn't aware of. Uh, Andy Holding um, schooled around without a jockey um, <laughs> yeah. and, ju and jumped very well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that I've just learned in the last five minutes. The prep run that doesn't show up. The prep run that doesn't show up. There we go.